Okay, Jeepers, uh, I'm not a big video guy. I'm using my phone, so let me show you. This is the tool I'm gonna use for basically setting the flute. If you look at the end of it, it's rounded, and then the very edges of it I've rounded too, so I don't ding up the metal, okay? So I'm gonna use this to uh, start setting my flute, okay? And I'm gonna start here on the edge, right up to where my edge is. I'm just gonna give it a strike. This is where you need to be careful and make sure you get it nice and straight. Okay, so once I've set the initial groove in here, the initial flute, I'm going to look at it and make sure it is straight. And I'm going to, if I need to make some little adjustments in here, I'm going to do that. Okay, so if you look at this, it's actually pretty good. You can see where there's a little bit of dings right here, where the edge of the tool, where I didn't have it perfectly square. But we're going to work those out. So now I'm gonna to switch to my little chisel tool that I made. And again, you can make, you can get you a cheap masonry chisel or something at a pawn shop for 50 cents and just round the end, make it into a little bit of a 45, but just make sure you round the end and round the edges so you don't dig into the metal. So you wanna overlap your strikes once you've got that initial groove, it's pretty easy to feel for it and follow it. Try to overlap each row so that uh, you don't leave any significant divots in one location. Now, you might be tempted to use heat to do this, but the truth is this metal bends very quickly very quickly and if you use heat on it you're liable to just blow straight through the metal and then you have to recut your piece and start over or do a bunch of welding and that just sucks so my original piece let me grab it this is my original piece you can see the flute is a little bit of a 45 degree in there. Someone drilled a hole in there. But if you compare it, we're pretty close. It's about this, I might need to go a little bit deeper. finish the edge a little bit. This, I, I know it looks like a claw hammer, but I've actually polished this hammer smooth. I use it, I like the weight of it, I use it as a uh, sheet metal tool.
now really all you need to do is work it and so you can see it I'll just do it right here on the stump normally I'd take this over to my anvil and work the metal over there a little bit this is so thin it's easy to work but if you look at it there you can get a good you can see the groove here's the original once I sand this, what you want to do is you want to sand. Um, you want to sand. I uh, don't. I, I, this is what I have in my hand. But basically, you're going to sand this way. And what you really want to use is one of those uh, flexible. One of these, something that's a little bit flexible. I'll show you real quick so that you can clean up these these tiny imperfections. It depends how much of a perfectionist you want to be on this. I mean, honestly, that's probably good right there. But um, if I was going to make this a museum piece or something, yeah, I polish it. I'm going to clean it up a little bit. I'm going to show you how I do that. Really easy. It happens real quick. Sorry for the noise. My wife's making me use these protective things now that I've cut my legs, so they're hard to work with to me. Alright guys, that's how I make flutes and metal. You can do the same thing with thicker metals. Alright, Jeep out. <laughs>